Looks like steel, to be honest. Of all the garbage here. For the one pound of copper, I need ID. Discarded. I thought the cans were his. Dumped or deposited. You got $2.20. Of all the rubbish recovered, recycled, or remanded, Ruth Hanna is responsible for some of it. They are heavy. <laughs> At recycling centers, you can see her turning aluminum cans. 50. Five zero. Into cash for charities. 50. She said oh. 50. But more than likely, it does feel like 30. You'll hear her first. <laughs> she carries an infectious giggle, <laughs> joyful laugh. <laughs> All she carries and collects. By the time I get home, I feel I've lost five pounds. Her cans. <laughs> For 28 years, the former county worker <laughs> has walked through county buildings <laughs> and other places relentlessly wiring aluminum. Okay. It is an effort to give others a better present than the life she lived in the past. I cried quite a few. I cried. I cried. Uh, I cried quite often. Ruth was a depression era child given away by her mother. Right here. Right here. She grew up. See, I had a lot of hair at that time. And was raised. Receiving my first communion. Through the kindness of strangers, living and working in about a half dozen homes through age 19. Well, I was happy. But one foster family was far. At least for a little while. From welcoming. I went through so much. At age 17. Pain and. The hurt became. Sorrow and joy. Nearly overwhelming. So I said working for this one family really almost made me want to end my life. I went through expression hell with this family. She says the mother in one home where she worked and lived locked her in her bedroom after nine at night. She hit me several times. I had bed bugs and I had lice. I had to use a sink for a toilet. I felt like I was in prison. Did you ever tell anyone about the abuse? I reported it to my social worker. She came to see me and the lady told her that everything was fine, that I was a liar. And so the social worker never checked up on it after that. But a woman treated like trash and tossed away at birth wouldn't let herself sit and rot. Well, I look at it this way. If anybody's got a right to be bitter at the world, I certainly do have a right. But I figure, what do you get out of being bitter? At age 55, she began crushing, collecting, Chronicling. Like you say, if you would bring me cans, you would be considered an outside friend. And categorizing. Yeah, it's a work. But the reality is, turning trash into donations helps her heal. So this is a tonic for me, you know. All the money is given to charities, but Ruth says most goes to the foster system, hoping children don't have to endure the pain of her past. I've raised over $84,000 so far. You asked how many cans were collected to amass that kind of cash. You're not alone. What's the count up to? So how, what number are you at now? Well, as of yesterday, 1,046,700 as of yesterday. And counting. Makes me happy, very happy. Around the time Ruth collected a million, she was given a trophy. The can lady, one million cans for charity. A proclamation and a merit award. I told my co-workers and my friends, if I'm five or six cans shy of a million and the Lord decides to take me, just put them in my coffin and I'll take them up to heaven with me. Ruth Hanna could have acted like the garbage she collects, but instead, <laughs> she laughs at that idea, proving one person's trash is another person's pleasure. Very much pleasure. <laughs> Jeremy Ross, Fox 6 News. The police line stretches across a north side neighborhood with a murder investigation stretching into the street. First responders made their way to the shooting near 77th and Winfield. His mom right there. A victim's family made its way to a quiet corner of the crime scene. Your goodbyes is now. So lift them up in your prayers. At least one shot was fired, killing a 16 year old. <laughs> the echo of that gunfire felt long after. I got you. Don't worry about it. I got you. You'll be all right. I got you. Wrapped in shock, Marquis right, Cotton was yeah. wrapped in the embrace of a friend. Right, the loss is overwhelming. He's like my brother. We, was, we are addicted every day. The words are hard to come by. Cotton's friend was murdered in the area behind a daycare. The 
playground and field was blocked off by law enforcement as dozens of neighbors watched and wondered what triggered the homicide. By the grace and mercy of God. Some believe it was a robbery. I thought that that he got shot. And but for Cotton, it is simply unbelievable. This is crazy how somebody can be here one day and be gone the next. A crime scene hosting pain. It's over, brother. They gonna get him. And the hope police will find the person who caused a family's suffering. It's painful to have to lose a friend. When you no longer have a flagpole, you find another way to hang old glory. There is no sign. When you've lost most of your street signs, you find another way to mark where you live when you have no change of clothing. And we got socks, underwear, t-shirts. You find whatever you can. Let's see, I got some jeans and some, my jeans, my Walmart jeans. <laughs> Jennifer Mendoza is one of hundreds in Washington, Illinois, who lost their home to a tornado. It's a little overwhelming when you see it for the first time. I had to prepare my brother and my sister when they were coming in. The family helps with the enormous task of sorting and cleaning what remains. I cry over the um, overwhelming help. You know, just from strangers even. It's great here. I mean, it's a sunny day. It's a good day to clean up. So we've been sorting through multiple houses over the last couple days. Joshua Mason and his father don't even live here. They're helping a friend because his wife is pregnant, who's about to need even more help and ready to blow. They salvage what remains inside a home with a view no one ever wanted to see. X marks the spot of so much destruction, but also so much cooperation. Nah, he's just my friend. Has been since junior high. It seems like we'll be all right. There's enough people around. We'll get through it. For dozens of pins, colorful balls. Now they're pulling like Ricky Week plays baseball. And just as many colorful characters. Not very good. This scored regimented recreation. Oh, tie game. Is a weekly tradition. It's any man's race now. Uh, as far as leagues go, I mean, I've personally been in dart leagues, softball leagues, kickball leagues. But an alternative game. It's totally how we roll. Is rolling into town. Bring it, come on. And gathering momentum. Ah! Why did I go? This is the Milwaukee Ski Ball League. It's part of a national organization, uh, Ski Nation. Oh, we almost made it that time. Competition can seem serious. Can't quite say the same. You blew it for the spectators. Yeah, I'm on. I'm live. Or the ski ball play-by-play. Tim Levansky reporting for Fox News. Yeah. Tonight, you've already dominated on the lanes. You're dominating in life. What's next for you? This might give me a job. You never know. Look at the cameras right on you too. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Yay! Team. Teams of two or three. <laughs> the ski eel. Rack up points. Bow down. Each player rolls nine times per turn, ten times per game. 40, 40. We won't bore you with all the tedious tallies. You got a 280 or 290? Basically, highest total. You got to get a 340. Is victorious. It's high. You can do it. You can do it. This is for a combo right and here. And consistency is rewarded with a symbol of ski honor. The Cougar Crossing. Is the bar stock? A chosen few get carded. Your teammate, thank you. I actually do have a ski card. My kids think that's pretty cool. Carded in a good way. It's the top 30 rollers every season, they make us a card. Scott Tucker, I heard you wear the tightest pants in all of Milwaukee. How does that feel? Oh, after choosing a lane, some play for a ski trophy. Yeah! Yeah! Others play through pain. Seven, eight. You roll a zero, a gutter ball, like in bowling. We make you do push-ups here. Yeah! Most play because it's something different. It's a nice job. Do you get tickets? Prize that isn't found on traditional lanes. What's the point of skee-ball if you don't get tickets? Using more unique balls. There's a joke there. You're really good, 178. An exercise in camaraderie and consistency that doesn't I to get that 200. take itself. Well, we can't always get what we want. Too seriously. <laughs> Jeremy Ross. This is what it's all about. Milwaukee's heart and soul right here. Fox 6 News.